friends welcome to today's edition of bible chat and clean with emma thank you so much for tuning in to today's video at this time i just wanted to welcome once again all our returning subscribers it is awesome to know that you continue to watch and support this channel i totally appreciate you commenting sharing liking the videos turning on your notification button so you can be aware of all new video uploads to my new subscribers welcome to this growing family i also appreciate you and thank god for your lives and pray that god will continue to bless you and his favor continue to follow you and your household as you can see today i am just sitting relaxing and wanted to share with you certain items that I have that I like and I love I thought hmm, it'll be nice for you guys to know what products and stuff are out there perhaps you're looking to upgrade your Bible collection or you just want some motivation or inspiration concerning studying the Word of God or getting into your devotional at times it is challenging as a child of God through all the busyness that we find ourselves in to stay connected in the Word of God so in today's video enjoy yourselves find a cup of coffee grab your favorite drink or just sit and enjoy today's lesson so as you can see i have this bag right here is one of my favorite purchases <laughs> for my bible stuff and it has proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 they had various different types of bags and i just i think i liked the color it was you know nice and bright nice and fun and I obviously like trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight one of my favorite Bible verses uh, if you have a moment if you're holding your phone you can just type in your own favorite memory verse I've known that verse and any given time you'll hear me saying it because it's true trust in the Lord with all your heart it's something that is challenging and difficult but it's a requirement through our christian journey so this bag it was a bit pricey but its insides are perfect it has places where you can put your pens if you you don't have you know a pencil carrier it just has a lot of compartments inside um, i like it it's easy to carry around and the purpose of this video in as much as I want you to be motivated and encouraged but also this is the bag that I this is my to-go bag everyone has a to-go handbag right the handbag that you use when you're doing the school run the handbag that you use um, to go to the grocery store that kind of handbag which just goes along with you when you're just doing your errands now this is my <laughs> my bag that I carry along which has my Bible stuff or my Christian material and whenever I'm going somewhere to church if I'm going wherever I'm if I'm going to you know pick up my kids from school and I'm waiting for them or I just carry this bag it's ready at all times like my handbag my on-the-go handbag is ready to go at all times my Bible bag is ready to go at all times so in the Bible bag i have interesting stuff and usually the thing that has remained constant is the bible that i put in here because the bible that i have is very light my other bibles are a bit heavy so i just you know and they're you know i just said these ones will stay at home <laughs> but my on the go bible is this particular one it's very light it's a new king james version simple easy it's you know the writing is big enough it's it's just a nice easy on the go bible so this bible will always be in this bag but the material that i read even the pens that i use they change i can have it today tomorrow I'll be like nah i'm not doing that i just change the stuff up but if i'm like somewhere and i'm bored and i'm waiting for something 
or I'm waiting for someone, I'll just have my material and I'm trying, I'm still learning. I'm trying to get to a point where I'm not always on my phone and I have um, Christian materials, you know, to read whilst I'm waiting instead of getting, you know, going on your phone. At times you can spend 20, 30 minutes, depending on what you're waiting and for, you know. So I found that to be a good idea. And you know, your girl, she likes her stickers. <laughs> So I have all my stickers. They always move around with me and I just um, put them in. Sometimes I put them in my Bible. Like if it's a particular verse that I feel like, wow, this verse, I love it. I'll just put it in, put the sticker in. Um, some, some I'll put in my journal. So it all just depends. But I carry these and I have different types of stickers. As you all know, I like I like to be colorful when it comes to my Bible stuff. And then I do carry around a lotion. I also have a lip balm, a Vaseline lip balm that stays in my handbag, but it also stays in there and it's not in there. And I was like, you know what? I'm not looking for it. Just know that there's lotion, Vaseline for my lips and a piece of gum. <laughs> yep. And then I obviously have my pencil case and I, I, there's a story behind this pencil case. And the story is simple that I learned that, you know, sometimes you don't have a Bible cover. I do. And my kids laughed, it, you know, everyone I met who saw me with it, found it hilarious. They found it funny. So uh, I would think about it quite often, like ah, people left at my, my Bible bag. So I learned that, you know, other women who like doing stuff like this, they would just get a makeup bag and put their Bible in there. So it's advisable, of course, to go with your Bible to the store so you know it actually fits and it makes sense. But there are cute makeup bags that you can get to put your Bible and your journal inside. And it looks nice. I'm, the one that I have, I'll show you one time it's um transparent and that's where my bigger bible stays and it had it so it came with the case and then it came with two of these and i just made it a pencil case of course you're supposed to put your makeup but who knows now you know but you know so i have all my favorite trillion favorite pencils and pens and then i have erasers that my kids give me and you know just um random stuff in but these are usually the my favorite um pens that i have and highlighters and then because i wear glasses i'll have my wipes my lens wipe and you know basically in here that's what you'll find and then when it comes to the books like i mentioned earlier the ones that i read it all just depends on what i'm feeling that week or what book I decide to read, but mostly I try and carry along um, books that help me just kind of jot notes sometimes, or things I want to learn about in that particular season. So I do have this one book that I got. Um, it's called Get to the Point with Prayer Points. It's a wonderful book. It's just to the point about um, why some prayers get answers and <laughs> answered and some don't. Uh, it's, it's a great book. It, um, I love reading, uh, I love reading stuff about prayer and just how people view prayer and what people have come up with concerning or surrounding praying. It's some, any book about praying, I'll show you my collection one day. I have a, quite a few in my opinion. <laughs> And I just find motivation in it. And so that's one of the books that I have inside. And then I do have this one, which somebody got for me. It's for married women only. The principles are for honoring your husband. It's a small book. I haven't gotten to it, so I can't say much. But it's one of the books that I think I can finish within an hour and a half at the most, um, depending on what's asked of us within the book. But hopefully this week or this month, at least I should say this month to be safe, I'll be able to read it and probably let you know if it's something that 
you may want to purchase for yourself and then this is the book that i'm reading this month i like stormy she has quite interesting books she's really got a lot of information and inspiration it's the 30 days to becoming a woman of prayer like i said i have a lot of books on praying and so here's another one but you know i'm going through it and so far it's excellent if you want to purchase it i would encourage you to do so another book that i have is the story um it's just a book con it, ha it kind of like has condensed genesis to revelations and just touches on certain aspects of those books and various characters within those books and so someone is saying how are you reading all those books at once i usually pick a certain number of books that i want to read in that month and say for example like these three books that i've just shown you well now it's four <laughs> it's four these four books that i've shown you right if i'm tired and it may sound funny or awkward but if i'm tired about reading about characters in the bible which is kind of awkward because most of the things we read in the bible are about characters but if i'm tired of reading that then i have another book to read and that's just how i go if i'm tired of reading about becoming a woman of prayer i want something else i want a different topic i want a different type of motivation i'll get a, a different book so it all just depends um on what i want in that particular month and i try to stick to what i picked to read because sometimes i found that if i just feel like ah i'm not wasting my time read it and then i just take will read three pages and feel like nah i'm not feeling it right now and then i get another book so now i've told myself that i should at least complete a book try by all means to complete a book and tough luck if it's not what i expected but at least i should have that discipline where i'm able to complete a book and then of course i have a magazine i love magazines um from um and i'm not sponsored or anything i'm just giving you guys the the tea on the good stuff out there just in case you're trying to build up your christian literature or something along those lines this is from day springs they always have uh, magazines and i love their magazines they're full of stories from christian women sharing their journeys on motherhood some on illness or singleness or working moms stay-at-home moms recipes all that stuff it's fun stuff to read how to manage your home so i love reading this it's all biblical you know they are centered around christ jesus so it makes me feel like you know there are women i can relate to because they're speaking my language so i always have my magazine if i'm tired of reading those books ah, i'll just get the magazine and read somebody's story <laughs> and then of course i will have my journals my my millions of journals so guys i got this one as a gift because it seems like i have a lot of material and my husband says you have the most christian literature i have seen and i'm like huh, if only you knew i have to control myself not to get more and guys you know i feel like that's who we are there are people in the world who are obsessed with different things at least if you love shoes love shoes and love christian stuff don't just love shoes don't just love handbags or hats or perfumes love all that stuff but always as a christian woman incorporate biblical things in your home people shouldn't be shocked to hear that you're a christian when they walk into your home they leave your home and then someone says oh see you on sunday at church and then ha huh, she goes to church they should see that somewhere somehow i haven't spoken to you in length but i can see that you're a christian woman there's something that is showing me or telling me through your language or through your posture or through the things around you that you're a christian woman it has to be evident because we are the salt of the earth now we cannot hide who we are so i would encourage you go to christian bookstores go to whichever bookstore i know there's barnes and nobles as well there are bookstores which have christian sections go there and just get into it 
get to see what's there for you and you'll be amazed at how many things you'll end up liking and buying and then will be many who have christian stuff so this is moving mountains planner <sighs> i struggle with planners but like i said i got it as a gift and i'm really trying to use it it's also a christian planner you see moving mountains that just sounds so christian right and so it has the goals for the month and then it will give you like here it says courageous footsteps and then you know it will just go through like gives you a, a verse or just this particular paragraph says being rich in faith is the secret to leading an abundant life that's because faith allows us to see life from god's perspective and then this is supposed to like motivate you now to do your to-do list and live a practical life i'm yet to write stuff in it but i'm hoping to do so and to stick to it because journaling well this type of or planning rather you have to be consistent for it to work for you and to make sense um the next thing that i do have is is this i know it's just got so much going on but I, it's cute it's really cute and this is just where um i write my random quick thoughts so it's you know it's just something simple I, if I lose it, which I won't, but I'm not going to be like heartbroken, but I just write my random quick thoughts. Like if I think, ha, huh, perhaps I'm going to do a video on, then I just write it down, you know, that type of thing, which a planner would work. But I feel like a planner, I need to use it when I'm really serious about writing things in a planner. I shouldn't just waste it. <laughs> and then I think I've shared this with you before. And it's the women of overflowing faith using the soap Bible study method. And it is pretty good. I've used it and enjoy how it, um, what would I say? How it makes you think about what you're actually studying, how it makes you think about what you've learned, the application, how you're going to pray about it. So I think if you're starting your Christian journey or if you just want a revival, something new, it would be nice for you to get this particular book because it will help you kind of figure out and learn like, why am I even studying the word of God? Why am I reading this particular verse? Because as it asks you, what did you learn from this verse? Which verse stood out to you? You're now really going to want to look and pay attention and see like, oh, okay, what actually stood out to me? But another benefit of having a journal when you're studying the word of God is so that in the event someone asks you to share something with us you have your journal and you just open and share what you've learned on your own in your own personal time so it does help and then even if no one asks you what you've shared <laughs> to share you know what you've learned or what you've been reading you're still able to go back on your own and see how far you've come i think it's amazing to look through your journals and see what you've been writing and you just see how you've grown and how your perspective has changed even though the word of god is still the same and then of course i do have another journal so these two are different this one is planned out i bought it they ask you the questions this particular journal is one that i use and i write what i want when I study the word of God, if I'm just writing, I begin to write um, how the Holy Spirit has revealed the word of God to me and I'm flowing. So I'm not trying to concentrate on the question that I'm being asked, like, for example, in this book, but I'm just flowing in accordance to what I've read. And it just happens randomly sometimes like as you can see i'll just be writing and it will be flowing and it will be making sense at the end of the day but um i find that it is helpful for us to to honor god with our lives and to show him how much he means to us by caring for things pertaining to our christian growth and development and so all these things fit in this particular bag very comfortably when i'm on the go i'll just pick it up and if i'm waiting like i mentioned earlier for a friend if i'm waiting for my kids if i'm waiting 
wherever I am, I always have it. Even if I'm in the house and I want to get into a time of studying the word of God, I'll always, it'll go with me to my bedroom. But then if I'm leaving the bedroom early in the morning or later, whatever time of day, I'll just pick it up and find my corner and begin to study the word of God. I'll have everything that I need in there. I find it helpful because then I won't go back to the bedroom or come upstairs to look for something. Because I've noticed with myself, the moment I do that, I get distracted along the way. And then oh, I'll say, huh, I'll just study later. And later becomes never. So this has helped me prioritize my studies when I come to, when it comes to the word of God. And it, it just looks cute at the same time. You know, as women of God, you have to reflect Christ Jesus in an excellent way because he's excellent. Everything we read about the Lord is of excellence. He created this world in excellence. So as individuals who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we should also express his excellence through all the things that we do. Your Bible, it's good for it to be in tatters. But there are two types of tatters. There's worn out because you've been studying the word of God. And there's worn out because you just throw it anywhere and keep it anyhow. You're not making sure that you're taking care of it. Which Bible do you have? Are you the tatters because you're studying or tatters because you're careless? Have value over the things of God. Take care of everything. Think through how do I want Christ to... When he looks at me, does he see that I really love him with my possessions concerning him? If somebody else, because I know, I know we have many cups, you know, and when I say cups, I'm not meaning those cute um, sets of mugs that we have. We have those ones you just buy at the store that says amazing, or you have one that says goals, or just, you know what I mean? And some people put their coffee, your favorite juice in there. And you, you have a million of those. You have a cupboard which has so many of those cups. Go ahead and get your Christian stuff as well. Christian bookstores or just regular bookstores which have a Christian section have so many, so many beneficial things to your use. And you'll love it. Someone will say, well, I can just use my Bible and a notebook. Yes, you can. And you'll still grow. You'll still flourish and get to heaven. But... This just is nice. <laughs> I think it's nice to just also pay attention and, and enjoy having good things. These things may not add anything to your Christian life if you didn't have them because you just need the Bible and the Holy Spirit and a pen and a notebook. But having other stuff like this, as I mentioned, it will help you just think through. It will motivate you to go through a magazine and read about other Christian women. At times you need to put your phone down. I've noticed if I'm trying to read Christian stuff on my phone, for some reason a message will pop up and it will say, <laughs> this is an example, it will say, Emma, did you? And then you can't read the rest. And then you did I what? Let me open it. Before you know it, you've stopped reading. You've stopped paying attention to what you had planned and focused on concerning studying the word of God. And you're now on your phone. You've browsed to this. You've checked this website out. You've checked your bank account. You've done so many things. So having physical things helps you not be as distracted. You may face distractions, but it will help you not go through so many distractions. Friends, I just hope that this has encouraged you to get your own little bag, and it can be any bag. I just like this one for the drama. It's cute. It's, it shows. If I'm carrying it around, everyone knows that, ah, there's a church mommy. But you can get any bag and put your stuff in, and it will just tag along with you wherever you're going. And you'll be amazed at how much you'll in, enjoy your study time. Hopefully, my dear friends, you'll comment and let me know how you pack your own bags, whether you go to church with a Bible or not. I like going with the same bag to church with my Bible. I take it out because I'm not trying to go on my phone. Some people, kudos to you 
who managed to go on your phone and your Bible and you're committed to your phone, um, the Bible app on your phone, you're committed, you go through it and you're faithful with that. That's a great thing if you've mastered that. But for some of us who have not, we have all these things. <laughs> My dear friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to meeting up with you in the next video. But for now, continue to be blessed by the Lord.